today's discussion on electrical measurement we will talk about the bridge circuits in due course we will see what are bridge circuits what are the different classifications of bridge circuits dc bridge ac bridge q factor and finally the comparison between dc and ac bridges the dc and ac bridges both are used for measuring the unknown parameters of the circuit dc bridge operates with the dc power supply only and it measures unknown resistance of the circuit ac bridge operates with ac power supply only and it measures the unknown impedance of the circuit both the dc and ac bridges work on the same principle that a balanced ratio of resistance or impedance results in a balanced circuit condition indicating a null deflection at the deflecting instrument all bridge circuits are broadly categorized into two types dc bridge and ac bridge the dc bridges are only meant for resistance measurement the resistance bridges can further be categorized as wheaton bridge kelvin double bridge mega ohm bridge and carey foster bridge the ac bridge are further categorized into capacitance inductance frequency and polarity bridges the capacitance bridges are further categorized as shearing bridge disorty bridge and maxwell inductance capacitance bridge the inductance bridge are four types maxwell hay anderson nowen the frequency bridges are further classified into wine bridge and fontana bridge the wine bridge can be of series type or parallel type the polarity bridge are of two types the edge bridge and the diode bridge the four principal examples of dc bridges are wheaton bridge kelvin double bridge carey foster bridge and mega ohm bridge and all these four bridges are used to measure resistance values of varying range as seen from the figure below The DC bridge is used to determine and measure the unknown resistance in one of the bridge arms. AB, BC, CD and DA be the four arms of a rhombus. The four arms have resistance values of R1, R2, R4 the unknown resistance and R3 the variable resistance with respective currents of I1, I2, I4 and I3. the bridge is balanced by adjusting the value of r3 and thus we can determine the value of r4 when the balance condition is attained the ac bridges come in 10 major categories they are maxwell bridge and anderson bridge and hay bridge wen bridge all used to measure inductance shearing bridge disorty bridge and maxwell inductance capacitance bridge all used to measure capacitance the wen bridge and fontana bridge used to measure frequency and then we have the diode bridge to measure polarity ac bridge is used to detect and measure inductance capacitance storage factor dissipation factor etc both impedance magnitude and phase angle are matched and balanced in ac bridges in the circuit shown below ab bc cd and da together form a rhombus the four arms have impedance values of z1 z2 z4 and z3 with respective current flow of i1 i2 i4 and i3 the bridge is balanced by adjusting the value of z3 ac bridges are either symmetrical in nature that is mirror like symmetry from left to right or non symmetrical that is using parallel impedance to balance series impedance Some bridges are frequency sensitive while others are not. A Wagner arc is required to reduce stray magnetic field effects and harmonics and arc capacitance. The Wagner arc is a simple voltage divider circuit that helps in providing high accuracy to the AC bridge. The Wagner arc device puts two additional impedance components around the AC bridge. Z5 and Z6 are the two additional impedance components in this circuit shown below which are wagner arc components the center point of the wagner arc device is always arc quality factor or q factor which is a dimensionless quantity describes the underdamped condition of the oscillator or resonator q 
Q factor measures the performance of coil, capacitor and or inductor in terms of resonator bandwidth. The Q factor indicates the energy loss in a resonating device. High value of Q factor is desirable as it indicates low energy loss and slow oscillation rate. The Q factor is numerically represented as Q equal to resonance frequency by bandwidth which translates to XL by R or XC by R or EC by E or EL by E. The Q factor of inductor QL is equal to XL by RL which translates to omega 0 L by RL and the Q factor of capacitor QC is given by minus XC by RC which translates to 1 by omega 0 CRC where omega is the natural frequency of the inductor and the capacitance elements. Here we hold a compression between the DC and the AC bridge circuits. By definition, the DC bridge measures the unknown resistance of the circuit while the AC bridge measures the value of unknown impedance which can be resistance, capacitance or inductance. The supply of DC bridge is always a DC supply while that of an AC bridge is AC supply. The detector in DC bridge is DC detector and that of an AC bridge is an AC detector. The components under measurement are only resistive in DC bridge while it can be both resistive and reactive in AC bridges. Wagner earthing device is not required for DC bridge but it is highly required and almost mandatory for AC bridges. The DC bridges are mainly of two types while the AC bridges can be of 7-8 times primarily. The balancing time of DC bridge is higher as compared to this counterpart AC bridge. For further reading, the viewers can refer to the following links. Thank you.